time ago, before the dinosaurs walked the earth, there were tiny blue creatures called the Smurfs. The Smurfs lived in a time where the skies were as white as Papa Smurf's beard. These curious little blue people lived in a village where everybody knew each other and all was at peace. But not for long. A ferocious drought decimated the Smurfs' crops, and the harvest schedule so severely that there was nothing to be harvested, and they had to ration their food supply greatly. After a while, the reserve food supply grew thinner and thinner and thinner, until it was at absolute zero. While the Smurfs pondered on how they were going to feed themselves, the lovely Smurfette had an idea. Why don't we visit Mr. Bean at his shop and beg him to give us some of his magic blue beans that can grow in any weather without water? That's a great idea. The Smurf journeyed long and far to Mr. Bean's store to beg him for some of his beans. When they got there, Mr. Bean looked surprised to see them, so he asked. Well, tell me, small ones, what brings a bunch like you to my store? The drought has wiped out all of our crops, and we are starving. So how may I be of assistance? Well, you see, we want some of your beans, but we don't have any money. Hmm, let's make a deal then. I will give you five pounds of my beans for free. <laughs> really? What's the catch? All you have to do is promise to cook some of the beans and make sure every single Smurf in your village eats their fill. You got it. That's a deal. Mr. Bean gathered all five pounds of his beans and separated into 20 bags each. Since the average Smurf weighed only two pounds, the load couldn't be too heavy. Afterwards, Papa Smurf and Smurfette went back to the village and told all the villagers of the good news. They all followed him back to Mr. Bean's store to bring the beans back to the village. Every single man, woman, and child pitching in to help carry the beans. Almost as soon as they arrived in the village, Smurfette used one of the bags of beans to make a scrumptious bean feast. All of the villagers consumed every single itty-bitty gram of food, as if they hadn't eaten a single day in their lives. About an hour after the feast, stomachs began to grumble, and every single smurf in the village had an extremely unheard of amount of gas. Indeed they did. They farted for 24 straight hours, while awake and while asleep. amazing part of it is, their gas wasn't just any color, it was an extraordinary bluish color as it filled the sky above. And in no time, the sky went from being white to being a magnificent color of light blue. Even till today, the Smurfs still have records of these events in their history books and immortalize Mr. Bean as a hero who saved their existence and also the reason for the sky being blue like it is today. <laughs>